Look at my nails. They are so cute. I'm in all pink today. It's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna go grocery shopping right now, so I will see you guys after when I get back. Just came back from shopping. I'm gonna show you guys like a little overview of everything that I got. I got croissants, bananas, beef broth, this Prego chunky tomato and onion garlic sauce, two things of grapes because I love grapes. I got egg whites, this turkey sausage, spaghetti noodles, these sugar snap peas, lemon and lime juice, salmon, little mini potatoes, oranges, apples, carrots, these baby bella sliced mushrooms, guacamole, this is the chunky guacamole, asparagus, celery, lettuce, two onions, two green peppers, I got two of the crispy chicken strips by Tyson. This baby spinach. I kind of want to put spinach in like a pasta, like an Alfredo spinach pasta. I got oven roasted turkey breast, jalapeno chips, a must. This white rice, cream cheese, onion bagels, eggs, some honey wheat bread, Dayquil, aquaphor, this is literally the best. This rich and creamy frosting to go with this chocolate cake because I kind of want to make a chocolate cake and then have vanilla ice cream with it. So I got vanilla ice cream and then I got this croissant de giorno's pepperoni pizza. If you guys have ever tried this, it's so freaking good. Stir fry steak, chicken drumsticks, a thing of red Gatorade, chicken thigh filets. Then the last thing that I got was this Chuck Roast family pack. They didn't have a smaller one, so like this is huge. Look at my hand compared to this thing. So I kind of want to make like a pot roast with all like veggies and potatoes and everything. That will be really good. This thing is huge. I'm a girl that loves to eat and loves to cook, so I'm excited to make some good meals with all this stuff. I got everything from Walmart. That was everything that I got. I'm going to go ahead and put this all away, and I'll see you guys later. You guys, I'm feeling chocolate cake, so I just made some. I have to let it cool. I was going to put frosting on it, but I remembered last time I put this fudge sauce on it instead and it was so good so I'm gonna let the chocolate cake cool down put some of this on it and then vanilla ice cream and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and do a taste test look how good this looks oh my gosh I just warmed up the cake with the fudge sauce and then I have vanilla ice cream with a little bit more fudge sauce on it let's do a taste test Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay. Cheers. That shit is good. Damn. That's bussin'. You guys literally need to make some chocolate cake, put fudge sauce on it, with vanilla ice cream on the side. It's so good. I just got back from running a few errands, and I'm gonna show you everything that I got. So first, I went to Sephora. I had to get a couple things that I'm running out of. The first thing that I got is the Fenty Beauty Lemon Lava Gloss Balm Heat Lip Gloss. This is what it looks like. I use this like every single day. So this is my favorite one. So I had to get a new one. And then I got the Glowish by Huda Beauty Primer. This stuff is so good, and it comes with a little spatula thing. So if you have <clears throat> long nails like me, that's perfect, and this is super good. This is probably like my favorite primer. And then the last thing that I got is this Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Powder, and I just get it in the translucent color. Then I went to Ulta. I needed to get some more eyelashes, so I just got four of my favorite kind. These are the Ardell Professional Eco Lashes. And then I got some glue because I have glue, but I lost the top to it. So that's probably going to dry out quick. So I just got a new one. And this is the one where it dries clear. And then lastly, I just went to Target. I got my favorite body lotion. 
This is the Hemp's Triple Moisture All Day Moisture Lotion. Then I forgot to get toilet paper at Walmart, so I got some from Target. But that was everything that I got. I was trying to find like a pink purse to match my outfit for Halloween. But I literally went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I really couldn't find anything. And then I went to the mall and I still couldn't find anything. So I think maybe I'll like check online. But yeah, I'm going to make some dinner. And then uh, I'm going to tackle the closet in the other room. There's like a lot of bunch of like stuff in there that I really need to go through before I move. So I will see you guys when I do that. This is what the closet looks like right now. Um, I have no idea what's in the boxes. So I'm gonna go through the boxes and see everything that I need to get rid of and keep and just see what's in the closet. I think I'm just gonna take out boxes one by one and then go through them. I think I'm just gonna take out all the boxes then go through them. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I have these this whole thing of fireworks. We were supposed to light these off like on 4th of July, but I didn't know if it was legal or not to like go across the street and you know do these like in the freaking Target parking lot or something. And I didn't want to get in trouble, but I didn't want to go all the way up to my mom's house to light these. I'll definitely be saving these for next year. Sparklers. I don't know why I didn't do these. Oh wait, no. Are these sparklers? I think so. Oh gosh, this is gonna be so heavy. I'll just put the stuff I want to keep. I guess in here. I have a trash bag so that I can just get rid of a bunch of stuff. I think this box is just like paints. So I'm not going to get rid of this. Oh. <laughs> I'm so dead. Keep that one. This is all Christmas stuff. Who's ready for Christmas? Got a little Santa hat. Cute. I don't know why I have a Santa hat. Maybe I was trying to be in the Christmas spirit. I'm definitely keeping these. So I'm gonna put that over here. Oh my gosh, we went to Disney. Cute. Forgot I had these. And this one. Oh my gosh, I remember I got these pajamas last year. They only had a kid size, so I got it in a 12 kids. I mean, they fit, but they were so short on me. They were like high waters. <laughs> it looked kind of funny, so I always had to wear like super long socks with these. I should probably throw these away. I was wearing a 12 for kids as a 24 adult at the time. Actually, I'm a 25-year-old teenager, so. Oh, I got this glass. This is so cute. I think I put like candy in this last time. I don't really know what you're supposed to put in this, but I think I'm gonna keep it because this is really cute. Mm, I painted this at the beach. Look, it's my cat Salem with like lights and a moon. I did an okay job. Now since I went through everything, I'm gonna put all the stuff back into the closet. Way less crowded. And a lot less stuff. Oh, and those are my ex-boyfriends. Obviously, he still lives here with me for right now. But, yeah, it looks way better. I'm getting rid of all that stuff right there. That I'm throwing away. And then that and all those pillows I'm going to give to my mom. I'm going to go out to eat with a few of my friends. But first, I wanted to show you everything that I got in the mail today. I got an egg bite maker. Look how cute it is. So I got this because I shouldn't be going to Starbucks every day and wasting my money. So I wanted to make the red pepper egg bites at home. So I got this from Amazon. I'll show you guys me using it. 
Then I got more of these pink puffs just so I can put powder underneath my eye. And then the last thing that I got was from Batty Spot. It's their self tanner, literally my favorite. This is what the bottle looks like. Literally, it doesn't make you look orange and it doesn't make you look too green. So this is like perfect. I definitely recommend this self tanner. So me and my friend are about to leave, but first, we're saving money. I gotta take a shot. And yes, I'm over 21, so. So you don't spend that much money on drinks? Cause same. <laughs> but we're about to leave. I will see you guys at the restaurant. Oh, this is iconic. Okay, yeah, guys, been first drink. You can see I'm drink some of it, but. I always get long hair legs. They're so fucking good. And it's like lit. And it's like strong. You know, so Wait, are you vlogging? Just, yeah. Oh. So you just need a couple, <laughs> couple drinks. Hi guys, Jamari here. I just wanted to let you guys know that we are at the restaurant right now and we are getting a little drunky. Also, Kristen is here. How are we? <laughs> so you guys, um, we're just gonna update you the more drunk we get. I guess, um, you know, the night is still young. That's I'll crazy. see you guys. It looks like a waste Weird, like. Guys, look how good this I like looks. Through, like, so I'm many so pages. excited. Let me see a Okay space. guys, I have the quesadilla here. This is what you do. You put show you. the the beans and you put it oh <laughs> all over. Okay. So and then you can take this shit. Wow. I didn't get any meat, but I got, you know, the peppers. Hashtag DIY. Like, the Hashtag meat. Oh, more of that yourself. shit. You know, I like it meaty. We have the meats. <laughs> Yeah, you're done. Okay. You're, 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 you're cut off. You're done. Okay. Good morning, guys. I just did my makeup. I wanted to try out the new egg bite maker that I just got. But first, I'm gonna go get coffee. And I wanted to show you my really cute pajamas. Look how cute these are. They're like hot pink. And then they have like red lining on it, a little pocket. And they also come with pink pants that are like flare. They're literally so freaking cute. And they have freaking pockets. I love that. These pajamas are from That's So Fetch. I'll link them down below if you guys wanted to check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some coffee and then we're gonna make the egg bites because I want to not spend money at Starbucks. I already have the egg whites. I don't have red pepper, but I do have green pepper, so I feel like they'll taste like the same thing. And then I already have mozzarella, so hopefully it will taste good, but I guess we'll see. Okay, I just got back from getting some coffee, so now let's start on the egg bites. I think I threw away the directions, so hopefully I don't fuck this up. I think I have to put water in this, so Let's start there. I don't know how much water I'm supposed to be putting in this, but I just put it like halfway. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. I have the egg whites, cheese, and then I'm gonna cut up a bell pepper. I only need a little bit, so I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of this. I don't even know if I need this much, but we'll start with that. And I'm just gonna try to cut it up in like little pieces. I'm gonna pour some of this egg mixture into this. I'm just gonna fill it up to the little line that they have here. I'm gonna add some of the green pepper. Probably good enough. And then I'm just gonna wing it on the cheese. I don't know how much, but. Then just mix it together. Hopefully this tastes good. I'm gonna let it cook and do its thing and then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's cooking. I'm so excited. I really hope this does taste like the Starbucks egg bites that I get there. Okay, should I just open it? Oh, oh shit. Mm. I feel like I should let it cook a little bit more. I like mine a little bit crispy. So, these are what the egg bites look like. 
They definitely don't look like the Starbucks ones, but that's probably because I don't have red peppers. I have green peppers, but these are what they look like. They're kind of hot. Let me cool them down. Actually, fuck it. Let's just go for it. I'm so dumb. I didn't even season the eggs. Hold on, let me season it real quick. I'm gonna put some pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder. I was like, why does it taste so bland? Okay, okay, now let's try it. It still doesn't taste like it. But it still does taste good. But, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they be putting in the Starbucks egg bites, but I tried, so. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll be back. It's still rainy outside. I wanted to show you guys what my apartment looks like right now because I just helped my ex-boyfriend move out all of his stuff yesterday. It was like really sad. Every single time I would go in and out of the apartment to help him bring stuff out, I started crying. But it's okay though. It's just like, damn, this is real. It's happening, you know? It's sad, but also excited to move into my new apartment soon. I got rid of a lot of stuff, and also my ex-boyfriend stuff isn't in here anymore. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. So this is the main room. If you're wondering where my bed is, I actually put it out here. So it's like a little movie night every night in the living room. Obviously because I have my big TV here, but... I am getting rid of the couch. I'm getting rid of like a bunch of furniture. I have to bring this downstairs because I'm not keeping this. This is what the kitchen looks like. I'm gonna give all of this stuff to my mom. So that's why it's right here. And then this is the spare bedroom that, you know, I edit and, you know, get ready. All of his stuff is gone right here. It looks so empty. And then this is what the closet looks like in here. So basically I did go through everything except I still have to go through the stuff underneath my sink. Like in the main bathroom. So I will see you guys when I do that. Okay, this is what it looks like underneath my sink. I don't really know what's in here. So I'm just going to go through all of this. Anything that I don't want, I'm just going to give to my mom. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had this mask. This is such a good mask. I should probably put it up there just so I can use it. A random freaking pregnancy test. Don't need that. I'm going to be celibate for the next two years. I don't need any of these lotions. I usually always use the same ones. Plus, I feel like the ones from like Victoria's Secret, they probably have like a bunch of like bad stuff in it. Even though it smells good, but I got a bunch of these like mascara ones because I got this like coconut oil that I was going to put in my allergies to have them grow and I totally forgot slash I'm too lazy to do this every day. I should not be lazy and try to do this. This is what it looks like now. Way less cluttered than I'm giving all of this stuff and this stuff to my mom. Definitely going to be wearing my pajamas all day because I ain't going outside. So I basically washed all my clothes. So I'm going to show you what my closet looks like. So I have all my clothes hanged up. And then since I don't have that dresser here anymore, since I gave it to my ex-boyfriend, I put all of these clothes up here. It looks chaotic but I know basically where everything is and then the rest of it I just put down over here I went through everything in my apartment cleaned everything so I'm probably just gonna be chilling for the rest of the night so I'm gonna stop the vlog right here thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you guys next time